morning well good afternoon good afternoon how is everybody doing what an awesome privilege it is to be with you all today because this is the day that the lord has made i don't know about you but i am rejoicing in the presence of the lord this morning and i had to just come on here personally and say welcome 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 Welcome. We have been blessed with brand new mercies this morning so that we can gather in the life room and lift him up because he said in his word, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And I'm so glad that I have an opportunity to lift him up. Hallelujah. Just lift him up to call on his name, to give him glory, honor, and praise this morning morning. Anybody just glad to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? I know I am. I'm glad to be in his awesome, awesome presence. And if this is your first time joining us, I just want to take a minute and welcome you and introduce myself. My name is Pastor Queenie. I am the senior pastor here at Rivers of Life, and I am just elated that you have taken time to fellowship with us today because you could have gone anywhere on your timeline, but you have stopped by the Rivers of Life for a dip. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed because God is in this place. God is in this room. God is in us. So we know that he is in you because he has divinely linked us together this morning so that we can come together and lift him up. So I just want to personally say thank you for coming and fellowshipping with us today. Thank you for taking a dip in the river because we believe here at Rivers of Life that once you take a dip in the river that you will come again because we believe that there is healing in the rivers, that we believe that there is deliverance 
in the rivers. But most importantly, we believe that there is life in the rivers because we wholeheartedly believe that Jesus fills this rivers. Amen. So we are so glad that you are here with us this morning. We're so glad that we have a gift for you. We have a gift for you, and we want you to have that gift this morning. And all you have got to do is simply type in the word guest. Just type in the word guest. If you are a first-time visitor with us, just type in the word guest in the chat box and our Flowbot, that's what we call her, the Flowbot is going to give you an automated response back and all you have to do is click yes or no if you want to connect with us. And listen, we won't be offended if you say no, but we're just asking that you give a response, either yes or no. Otherwise, the Flowbot is going to keep sending you the message. And we don't want her to keep sending you the message because we don't want you to be annoyed with us. So all we ask is that you either click yes to stay connected with us or no. Either way, we will not be offended. Amen. Amen. But we like to stay connected uh, with you because it's our heart's desire to stay connected with everybody that God sends our way and makes a divine connection with us with. Amen. So we want to um, link up with you, if at all possible. Amen. Well, we're going to move on into our worship seg segment so that we can get in the presence of God. If it's all right, I'm going to lead you all into the presence of God this morning. If that's all right with you, I feel a pressing in the spirit. Amen. To just tell the Lord this morning how much I love him. Do you feel that this morning? Do you want to just lay it on the line how much you love him this morning? God, he desires our worship. God desires our praise. God desires that we give him glory. He desires that we honor him. And in doing that, uh, that doesn't mean that we, we ask him for anything. We ask him for stuff all the time. But this part of the worship service is not about us asking him for anything. This part of the service is, is, is all about us just coming to him and, and, and with the fruit of our lips, with the fruit of our heart, with the, the, the fruit of our tongue, coming to give him glory, coming to give him honor, coming to give him reverence, to tell him just how awesome he is, coming to just love on him for a moment. Is that all right? Can we just lift up some glory unto the Most High God this morning? Can, can we just begin to just tell him how much we want to love him today, how much we appreciate him today, how much we honor him today, how, how much we appreciate him today. Can you just begin to just lift that up right where you are today? Because he wants our praises to arise. He wants us to magnify him. He wants to know that he's making a difference in our lives. He, he gets all the requests. He wants the petitions. He wants the problems. But sometimes he just wants to know that we love him. Is there, is there a moment that we can just set aside and let the Lord know how much we love him? How much we appreciate that there's food in the refrigerator. How much we appreciate him that we still got mobility in our limbs. How much we appreciate the fact, come on somebody. I need just about three people to say, oh Lord, I love you today because you have breathed the breath of life in me. And because I can breathe today, I just want to let you know that I love you. Because I can breathe today. I just want to give you some worship because I can have the mobility in my limbs. I just want to lift up my hands and honor you today. Is there anybody that's on this broadcast today that wants to love on the Lord today for just having the simple things? Oh, Lord, I can see. Oh, Lord, I can smell. Oh, Lord, I can taste. Oh, Lord, I can hear. Oh, Lord, I can move. Oh, Lord, I can think. Oh, Lord, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you for the simple things in life. You don't have to do nothing major for me right now. 
I just want to honor you. I just want to glorify you for the simple things in life because you have done it over and over again. You do big things, but Lord, I just want to honor you. I just want to lay my head in your lap. I just want to wipe your feet with my tears and dry it with my hair all right now in the name of Jesus Lord I just want to let you know I just want to let you know that I love you for you being you if you never do another thing for me God I want to let you know that I love you for just being you you have adorned me with brand new mercies today and Lord I love you you lifted me up out of my bed even so I can sit up and watch this service today. Lord, I love you. Even if I'm not sitting up in the bed and I'm laying in the bed with the phone up like this, Lord, I love you. And I just want to praise you right now. Oh, Lord, I appreciate you because I still got life. I still have health. I still have strength. Oh, Lord, I just want to love on you right now because you love me more than I can ever love you. So I just want to take a minute and adore you. I want to praise you. I want to lift you up. I want to let you know that you are appreciated. I know I don't say it enough. I know I don't show it enough. But I am going to take a moment right now out of everything that's going on around me, everything that seems to be happening in this world, I'm going to just stop and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I honor you. I appreciate you. There's nobody like you, God. And there'll never, ever be another. There'll never, ever be another like you. I just want to stop and acknowledge you right now for that. I appreciate you because you sent your son. I appreciate you because you sent your Holy Spirit. I appreciate you because you continue to do more for me than I can ever do for you. Lord, I just want to stop and say thank you. I just want to stop and acknowledge you. I just want to stop and praise you. Right here in the middle of a pandemic, right here in the middle of my problems, right here in the middle of my distress, right here in the middle of my protest, right here in the middle of everything that's going on around me. I just want to stop. I just got to stop. I just got to stop and say, God, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I just got to stop. I just got to stop and let you know, Lord, I'm giving you glory today. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm not asking you. I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing from you because you've given me more than I can ever thank you for. But I just want to acknowledge you. Because some days I get up out of the bed and I just go. Some days I get up out of the bed and I just do. Some days I just go and do and I don't stop and say thank you. I don't acknowledge you. I don't stop and say, Lord, you're the head of my life and that I'm nothing without you. So on this day, Lord, I'm stopping. I'm stopping in this moment. I gotta stop. I gotta stop and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I lift you up. Lord, I acknowledge you because I'm nothing without you. I'm gonna praise and glorify you right now. I'm gonna praise and glorify you right now. I'm gonna praise and glorify you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I just want to give you glory. Oh, Lord, I just want to honor you. Lord, I just want to praise you. Oh, Lord, I just want to lift you up. Hallelujah. Anybody feel like that this morning? They just want to lift them up. They just want to honor him this morning. Is there anybody out there that's feeling like that today? Hallelujah. 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 What a mighty God it is that we serve. 
What a mighty God it is that we serve. And sometimes we got to let him know how much we love him, how much we appreciate him, how much we adore him. Sometimes we got to stop in the middle of asking and show him some honor. Sometimes we got to stop in the middle of, of petitions. Sometimes we got to stop in the middle of everything that's going on and just let him know that he's appreciated. Because sometimes life can swoop us up. And we get so busy doing life. Even in, even in these times. Even though it seems like the world is shut down and we ain't got nothing to do. Yes, we can still miss the moment. But sometimes we just got to step back. We got to step back. We got to step back. And say, you know what? God, I honor you. I glorify you. I love you. Because even though I got nothing to do, I still got a lot to do. But I got a lot to praise you for. I got a lot to thank you for. I got a lot to give you glory for. Because I'm still breathing. I'm still moving. You're still blessing now. You're still moving in my life. So I'm going to glorify you. In the midst of it all. I'm going to glorify you. In the midst of it all. Come on just take. Take 10 seconds right now and lift up a praise up to God. Lift up a praise unto God. Give him some thumbs. Give him some hearts. Just take 10 seconds and give God some praise right now. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, we give you glory. Oh, God, we lift you up. We magnify your name in this place because you are worthy of everything that's inside of us. Hallelujah. If I, I can't do nothing but wave my hand, I'm going to wave my hand. If I can't do nothing but stop my feet, I'm going to stop my feet. If I can't do nothing but shake my head, hallelujah, I'm going to shake my head. But with all that is in me, I'm going to glorify the Lord that I serve. Hallelujah, because he's a God of more than enough. He's a God that is big, and he keeps showing up big. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some glory today. Give God some glory today. Hallelujah. Give God some glory today. Give God some glory today. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's get into our praise and worship today. Hallelujah. 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 Let's get into some praise and worship today. I'm going to turn it over now to the praise team so that they can lead us further into the presence of God. Come on, Chelsea. Amen. Good afternoon. It is today. Amen. You got to give God some praise. I know that if you woke up this morning, that is enough for you to walk around and let it be known what an awesome God that we serve. Amen. Come on now, somebody gotta give God praise this morning. Let it be known that our God saves, our God reigns. We lift you up, up. Let it be known that love has come and love has won. We lift him up, sing up.
Five nine seven six nine. This will add you to our central communication system so you can receive all the announcements and alerts of everything that's going on here at Rivers of Life. All you have to do is text me all one word five nine seven six nine and add it today. We also want you to get in the know. All you have to do is text. R-O-L-A-P-P to 59769. That will get a link to our app sent to your cell phone so you can add it to your home screen. There you can access our yearly calendar, our online Bible, online giving. You can even send prayer requests. You don't have to wait till Sunday. You can send your prayer requests to us anytime because we're always praying for you and with you. All you have to do is text R O L A P P to 59769 today. Do you want to get back your life? Do you want help to overcome the issues controlling your life? Hope is in your hand. Join All Purpose Recovery every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Dial in only at 339-207-8315. All Purpose Recovery is a Christ-centered, confidential resource that hears your pain and supports you while God heals your heart. Join All Purpose Recovery every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Dial in at 339-207-8315. All Purpose Recovery, where restoration is your destination. Join us Wednesdays at 7 p.m. for a life applicable Bible study on Facebook.com forward slash The Rivers of Life or dial in at 712-770-4160. Participant code 981355 pound sign. Please note our last Bible study will be Wednesday, June 17, 2020, for summer break. 
Attention all God's chosen youth and parents of all youth ages 3 through 18. Join us for our youth virtual check-in every Friday from 6 to 7 p.m. Dial in only at 339-207-8315. This is a time to check in and grow in God. Don't miss this one hour of power every Friday from 6 to 7 p.m. Dial in only 339-207-8315. My brother's arm will be meeting today via conference call at 712-770-4160. Participant code 981-355. This is a call you don't want to miss. No family, child, or senior should go hungry during the COVID-19 pandemic. With schools closed, job uncertainty, and a health crisis, the local food banks are in high demand and low support. But we're stronger together. Partner with us as my brother's arm extends its reach into the community to raise funds for local food banks to ensure everyone eats. Give today at www.theriversoflife.org. It's time to exercise our faith through the ministry of giving. And there are multiple ways to give here at Rivers of Life. You can give through Cash App using our cash tag, dollar sign, the Rivers of Life, through Givelify, under Places of Worship, Rivers of Life, on our website, theriversoflife.org, or you may mail your checks payable to Rivers of Life, 952 Highway 33, Freehold, New Jersey. Remember, you don't have to wait till Sunday to give. You can give anytime. And don't forget to include your member number. All these announcements and more can be found right on our website at www.theriversoflife.org. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And I just want to say a special prayer over you as you were taking a moment to give if you're giving at this time. If you've already given, I just pray that the Lord will bless you according to his riches and glory, according to the foe he wishes to return to your household for you coming into agreement and obedience to giving. In the name of Jesus, it is that I pray. Amen and bless God. Well, it's time for the word in the house. So I'm asking that you get your pen and your paper and your Bible so that we can get before the throne. Amen. And hear a word from the Lord today. Amen. Are y'all ready for the word? If you're ready for the word, I need y'all to put word in the chat. Come on, I need everybody to put word in the chat. I need y'all to put word in the chat. I can't, I can't, I can't go, I can't move from this place until everybody puts word in the chat. When everybody put word in the chat, that's when we'll move forward with the word. If y'all ready for the word, type word in the chat. All right, I got one. I got one word. Word. Come on. Y'all ready for the word? Amen. I got three. I got three people touching and agreeing with me. Come on. I need some more people to put word in there. Come on. Let's get ready for the word. Amen. You ready for the word? Amen. 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 I'm glad to see so many of you on today. Amen. My sister, Dr. Clifton, Brother Ahmed, Sister Titi, Sister Cassandra, Deacon Wilburn. Glad to have you back. Let's um, D.I.T. Rose, Sister Shirley, Mr. Lisa, Minister Claudia, Sister Andre. I'm glad to see you all on that. Ready for the word. Oh, Mother Anita, glad to see you all on your pen and your paper and get ready for the word. Introduce the psalm who have never heard this young man speak. And welcome to the family for those of y'all who haven't heard him speak in a while. Because it's time for our associate pastor to come and bring forth the word today. Put your hands together. Come on, let's get some hearts going up on the screen, some thumbs up going on the screen for our very own Pastor Rashawn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, somebody. 
I see y'all out there. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Give them some praise right quick. Hallelujah. Anybody feeling good today? Hallelujah. I'm glad to be amongst you today. Amen. And I haven't had an opportunity to be in this forum in a while. Amen. We haven't been in the church. Come on, somebody. But God is yet still moving. Amen. And I just want to thank him right now. Just give him the glory, the praise, the honor that he so deserves. So, Father God, right now, I just thank you for allowing me to just go before your people now. And I ask that you just, just open up these virtual airways of God and allow your spirit to just move in a mighty way. Hallelujah. I just want you to move me out the way, oh God, and just have your way today, oh God. And I'm going to praise you right now in advance for what you're about to do. Come on, type amen if you're with me so far. Hallelujah. 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 So here we are, family. You know, I got so many emotions and so many thoughts just running through my mind at, at a time like this. Amen. Here it is. June 7, 2020. Amen. I wake up today. A 40-year-old African-American black man. Living in the United States of America. The land of the free is what they call it. And I wake up this morning to be truthful with you. Amen. I'm going to get right in the word. I'm not going to be long. I wake up this morning with more questions than answers. I asked the question, how can I fight a pandemic in the form of coronavirus, an epidemic, amen, in the form of, of infectious diseases that I like to call racism and, and, and hate in a civil war all at the same damn time? You say I might have took it too far. I'm just saying, a civil war is when two people that live in the same, two, two groups of people that live in the same country are fighting against each other. Come on, somebody. Last time I looked out my window, last time I turned on the TV, it's a fight going on outside. Huh. The oppressor, come on, somebody. Y'all know you done heard the phrase that they got the knee on somebody's neck. But I, I'm going to stay on task. I'm, I, I don't want to go down that avenue. Hey, man, I want to stay on task today. But I wake up in the United States of America, a 40-year-old black man. Shout out Sandra Bland. Hey, man, I'm awake. A 40-year-old black man, because come on, somebody. The, our woman ain't safe neither. But a 40-year-old black man living in the land of the free. And I'm waking up with more questions than I got answers. Everything is up. Anxiety up. Stress levels up. Depression up. Domestic violence up. Come on, somebody. Unemployment up. Hmm. Death toll up. people we are living in historical times right now for real and some of us amen we can't seem to wrap our minds around all the uncertainty oh I'm speaking to somebody now ain't I huh we can't wrap our mind around all the uncertainty amen you know how I know Lord help me here. Because 
we got more questions than answers. And I'm going to tell you right now, amen, if one more person, Lord help me, ask me, do I think that we living in the end of times, I'm going to slap the hell out of them real quick. No, 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 no. Come on, somebody. We're going to laugh. But seriously, come on, somebody. Huh? We can't wrap our mind around it. Now we now we go, we question it. Is it the end of time? It, it, it's son of man on his way. Come on, somebody. Let me answer the question for you. Jesus himself don't even know. Come on, somebody. Huh? So what, what makes you think I know just because I got a pastor associated with my name? <laughs> I don't know. Matter of fact, amen, if you was to stumble upon a book of Matthew, come on somebody, in the 24th chapter, right around the 36th verse, it'll let you know that no man know the time nor the hour. Come on somebody. No man know the time nor the hour. Not even the angels in heaven nor the son of man. The Bible is clear. It said only the father knows. Quit asking me. Amen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Amen. But the fact Amen. That the question was asked. Amen. It leads me to believe that the people, come on, somebody, that they're looking for a hope in the midst of a pandemic. They're looking for encouragement. Amen. In the midst of an epidemic. Come on, somebody. They're looking for strength to fight this war. So, so I do what I do when I don't got the answer. I go to. Oh, somebody, Amen. That's what I do. I go to the Bible, Amen. When I don't, when I don't have the answers, because my word says if you just ask, come on, somebody. That's right. That's so right. you know what I did, Amen. I want you to, I want you to just go ahead and type WWPD and, and go ahead and type it in the chat. WWPD, amen. I, I, I type that in my spiritual Google search, amen. And I asked, come on, you ain't with me here, amen. I typed in WWPD, amen, and, and, and it popped up in my Google search. It said, what would Paul do? You ain't with me here. <laughs> <laughs> what would Paul do? You ain't with me here. You see, I typed it in my spirit. You ain't with I typed it in a bar, said WWPD, and it came up on the screen. What would Paul do? My God. You with me so far? <laughs> Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Listen. <laughs> we know that Paul, right? Mm -hmm. Listen to me. He know a thing or two about being on the front line. Yes. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He knows something about standing firm in what you believe in. Come on, somebody. He knows a thing or two about a protest. Yeah. <laughs> come on, we been, come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. He knows what it's like to be ostracized and, 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 and marginalized. Come on, somebody, because of because of his views ain't lining up with the views of the people that's in authority. Oh, do it sound familiar? He know what it's like to stare death in the face. Come on, somebody. Paul know a thing or two about an injustice and discrimination. <laughs> come on, somebody. Come on, come on. We we study the word. Come on, amen. We know. Hmm? He know what it's like to be on the front line. So I said, well, what would Paul do? Hmm? And give me a second, real quick, because the devil is a lie. Let me plug up. 
Amen. Because this thing is getting good to me. <laughs> and so I asked you, WWPD, well, what, what would Paul do? And he led me to a scripture in the book of Philippians, right around the fourth chapter in the 19th verse. Philippians 4 and 19. I'm going to stay right here. I ain't going far. Because he know what it's like to be on the front line. He know how to operate, watch this, amen, in uncertainty and distress. So much so that he addressing us from a Roman jail cell. Come on, somebody, you ain't with me. <laughs> Uh, can, it, can, I, can I tell it like it is? Amen. So, so he, he understands it because he addressing us right in the text right here from a Roman jail cell. Yet he's still encouraging the people. Showing us that no matter what the circumstance is, no matter where or, what, or, or, or where you find yourself in, that you can trust in God and he'll always meet your needs. Let me read the word. Philippians 4 and 19. I'm not going to go far. I'm going to be real quick. Come with me. The word says, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches and the glory in Christ Jesus. let that marinate because I know you didn't heard it before. I know you didn't heard it before. I'm going to let it marinate just for a second. Amen. I'm going to let it marinate just for a second because when, this, when, when the scripture popped in my spirit, come on somebody, I was saying, well, we know that already. But my spirit man said, no, read it again. My spirit man said, when you read it, I want you to go a little deep. He said, I want you to take it down to the gristle. I said, come on, come on, come on, somebody. huh? You want me to get to the bone with it, huh? Okay, okay, we're going to get to the bone with it, amen. So let's read it again, amen. Come with me for a second. Philippians 4 and 19. Paul is addressing the church. Come on, somebody. From a prison cell. And he reads. It says, in my God. Right? When I read it again, I, I couldn't even get past right there. I had to pause for the cause. Hmm. Because when I read how Paul said it, he said, in my God. Uh, that means that it's personal. You ain't with me. I want you to catch it now. Amen. That means that it, 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 it's, he said, in my God. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's personal. Amen. A relationship. See, 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 God desires a, a personal relationship with each and every person on this planet. He wants us to acknowledge him as our God. And the deeper our intimacy with him, listen to me, the more secure we become in knowing we belong to him. Sometimes you just got to declare it. He is my God. Say it to yourself, amen. Say it to yourself, amen. He's my God, amen. Think about it, amen. The God who has all power knows me and wants me to know him on a personal level. <laughs> when I think about it like that, amen, it's a, it's a new meaning to, oh, my God. Come on, somebody, amen. Oh, come on, somebody. It's a new meaning to it, amen. Oh, my God. Just think about it, amen. It's personal. Let me get to the first. 
So, 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 so I went back to the word, amen, in, in, in our bread. In my God. Man said, Stop right there. And my God, we will sing that song, Promise Keeper. Come on, huh? Come on, somebody. The word didn't say how I think about it, it didn't say, uh, 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 maybe I don't know. It said, I will. <laughs> God has the power in his, or somebody, in his, the thing is, he has the power in his, his will to keep, that's the principle thing about it. He said, in, he said, in my God, we, he went. Sometimes, amen, when you staring at a need, you need to remember to stand on a promise. When you staring at it, when you face to face with a need, you need to stand on a promise. Because he is a promise. Come on, somebody. Amen. We need to trade in that news broadcast for what God says. Amen. Because he has the power, watch this, to shift the facts in your face. Did you hear me? He has the power to shift the facts in your face. It's a fact. Amen. That. The United States makes up 5% of the world's population. It's a fact that the United States also makes up 25% of the world's prison population. I'm not even going to get into it of the people that look like me. I'm not even going to add that into the... And, and, come on, somebody. I'm not even going to go that deep. Hmm? Did you hear me? Five percent of the world's population, twenty-five percent of the world. I'm talking about everywhere, the whole globe. Twenty-five percent of the prison population. We in need of change, and the Lord promised us. Come on, somebody. Here's your encouragement right here in Exodus in 14 and 14. He said that I will fight for you. <laughs> Only thing you got to do is just be still. Come <laughs> on, you ain't put me here. Amen. Because he is a promise keeper. Amen. So that means that I don't have to be one in four. Come on, somebody. Because if you do the math, that's one in four Americans that done touch prison bars. Amen. The God said I can turn that fact. Come on, somebody, into in your favor, amen. So that way, come on, somebody, that you don't have to go and I'm gonna stop right there. He said, I can turn that thing around for you because I'm a promise keeper. I'll fight for you. You just be still. Anybody want to rest on that promise right there? <laughs> Anybody want to rest on that? Mm. I think for God, amen, a need, even when I didn't even know it was a need. Hmm? He said, I'll change the facts in your favor. Huh? I needed a renewal of the mind and didn't even know. Uh, that's why everything happens on the inside, right? Check it, check me here, amen. See, it happened on the inside. And he said, I win. Uh, my God, win. Anybody want to praise him? 
Oh God, I, I, I pray right now for the sensitivity, amen, of recognize when and how you meet all the needs of your people, amen, and that when we see it, we give you a proper praise. Come on, man, anybody want to praise them? Go ahead right now and make that choice right now to meet all your needs. Come on, somebody. Go ahead and praise them right there. Amen. Yes. Go ahead and praise them right there. Yes, yes. Praise them. Amen. Come on, let me finish. Amen. So, who was we at? If my God will meet, he will, amen, meet all your needs. We know him to be a provider, don't we? Hmm? We know him to be a provider, won't he do it? And it says, my God will meet all your needs. My God will meet all your needs, amen? According to his riches and glory. Anybody know anything about it? Huh? According to his riches and glory. Now, I want you to catch this because I'm almost finished. The word says, and I want to read the whole scripture here. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Because this is the most important part right here. Hmm? Let, me, let me get to the let me get to the with it real quick. His glory, him being God the Father. I call him Daddy God. <laughs> My parent, amen. That's what I call. I call him Daddy God, amen. Which which which, which makes me a child. Did you hear me? Of the most high God. Hmm? And according to his riches and his glory in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. You get that? In Christ Jesus. The one who came to introduce us to the Father. The one who came to reconnect us to the Father. Huh? The one who gives us authority. Listen to me carefully, man. As children of God through the atoning works of Jesus. I'm talking about in Christ Jesus. Now I want you to catch it. Amen. Where all heavens resources are accessible come on somebody yeah. <laughs> to us come on somebody because we are a part of a royal family riches and glory come on somebody all your needs in Christ Jesus stuff you can't you can't leave that part out you can't just accept all his riches and glory you can't accept it without the Christ Jesus part that's why I'm trying to have, come on somebody I said in Christ Jesus yes, in Christ Jesus, we have been given a heavenly checkbook. Listen to me carefully here. And it has been signed, come on somebody, by Jesus, amen, in his own blood. <laughs> huh? And daddy God, I said daddy God declared it, come on somebody, that he will honor all checks in the name of Jesus. Y'all ain't with me here. Come on, somebody. I said, in, in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. According to his riches and glory. That is God declared. Come on, somebody. Paul said, and my God and my God mm -hmm. will be all your needs 
according to his riches. His glory. Yes. In Christ Jesus. want to feel good. You want to avoid discomfort and pain. We may not get all that we want, but by trusting in God, our attitude, come on some, and our appetite it can change. See, the problem is all our needs is not in line with the riches and glory of God. That's the message that, that, that Paul is trying to get to. Our, we have to be in line. It got to be a shift. Come on, somebody. In your attitude and in your appetite. It got to be a shift, amen? So that way we can change from wanting everything to accepting the provisions, come on, and the power to live for him. Yes. Daddy God declares. Paul wrote it so eloquently. And I say it with so much emotion. In my God will supply all your needs. Every last one of them. The key is, is to look internally. We always we, we, we continue to screw this up. Amen. We continue to want everything to happen in the physical realm. Where our needs are truly internal. Our, our needs is truly heaven bound. That's where our needs at. Because if we can conquer that lane. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Come on, somebody. <laughs> come on, somebody. See, if, 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 we can come, if we can come into agreement, if we can get, it, get into alignment, then you're going to see the shit in your attitude and in your appetite. And then it is not going to matter whatever situation you find yourself in. You can be in a Roman jail cell just like Paul and you can still send out the message that, oh my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in full. And I can say that from behind a jail cell. Come on, somebody. I can say that on a front line in the midst of a pandemic and an epidemic and a civil war all at the same damn time. He will supply all your needs. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Amen. Put that in your spirit. Come on, somebody. That God will do it. He will do what it look like. No matter a pandemic, an epidemic, a civil war, he will supply all your needs. Come on, Come on, give him some praise. All of this derived from somebody asking me, do you think we're living in the end of time? And this is what <laughs> this is what comes out of. Hmm? 
are we living at the end of time? Bible is real clear. No man know the time, know the hour. But it also tells us that we got to be on watch. Come on, somebody <laughs> is in that same scripture, huh? Right there around Matthew 24 and 36. If you keep on reading, he tells us to stay watch because he coming when ain't nobody expecting. <laughs> Come on, sir. come on. We, we, we in the word. Come on. That's what the word said. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if we could just rely on this promise that my God, my God, he will supply all my needs according to his riches and his glory. In Christ Jesus, you already ready. You ain't got to get ready. You ready? Rest on it, amen. Rest on it, amen. Hallelujah. I see y'all out there, amen. Bridget, amen. Okay, Gary, amen. I see y'all. I hope, listen, I just, I just wanted to send some encouragement your way, amen, that... Just like Paul, no matter the situation, amen, we're going to, we, we, we fighting right now. We, we at war. But we got to realize where our strength come from, where our help come from, amen. And God said, I'm going to supply all your needs, even the needs that you didn't even know was a need. <laughs> you ain't with me here. I'm doing it all. I'm doing it big. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. Listen, I, I hope this word encouraged you this morning, amen, this afternoon, rather. I hope this word encouraged you, and, and, and I hope, amen, that, that, that it gives you a, a, a sense of comfortability in this uncertain time. A lot of people are looking, you know, to connect to something because we, we, we can't wrap our mind of the time that we live in it. But right now, I, I invite you to connect with the Most High God. That's what I do. I, <laughs> that's my invitation to you right there. Listen, the only thing you got to do is type Lifeline in the, in the chat bar, and we're going we, we gonna to square up with you right away. Straight like that. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a part of this ministry, the only thing you got to do is type Flow. Go and get connected to this move and amen we ain't a church that just sit on the sidelines come on somebody even though we can't be out here in these streets we still out here in these virtual streets come on somebody you better <laughs> huh come on we got an all purpose recovery program that we offer here huh where you could come and get connected to some brothers and sisters that ain't going to judge you. Amen. The only thing we want to do is help restore you. You ain't with me here. <laughs> huh? We meet every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Come on and check the website and you can get the number to dial in. We here. Huh? We started an initiative, Amen Connected Hands, where we, where we continue to just reach out into the community. If you want to be a part of this, we still flowing, amen. Ain't no pandemic, ain't no epidemic, ain't no civil war going to stop our flow. That's why it's called the rivers of life. Come on, somebody, amen, because we just keep on flowing. I invite you to get into the flow. I invite you to get into the night. We would love to have you be a part of this head ministry. I see y'all, WWPD, amen. I see y'all out there. <laughs> That's going to stick with you, huh? What would Paul do, amen? Paul would tell you that, my God, going to supply all your needs. That's what Paul going to tell you, amen, according to his riches and his glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. I'm done. I'm going to get past the amen to come on back. Oh, you want me to pray this out?
I'll take us on out. Amen. I hope this word blessed you today. Amen. I hope this word blessed you. And to let you know that whatever your circumstance is, God is with you. As long as you would have. You ain't got to worry about if it's the end of time, the beginning of the time, or the middle of time. Come on, somebody. As long as you in Christ Jesus, the Bible says that you good. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, I just thank you for your word today. I thank you for your spirit that, that ran all through these airways on today, oh God. And I ask that you just go with your people as we close out this service. Let them know that you're there for them. Let them know that if they just connect in with you, oh God, that you will supply all they need. But it's according to your riches and your glory, oh God. Father, we just thank you right now for your presence. We thank you for this ministry. And we thank you for every blood watch believer that was on the line today. And even the ones that don't believe, oh God, I ask that you stir up something in them. Uh, have an encounter with them in the name of Jesus. Come on, go and the Lord says, go. 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 Amen.